This is a Blaring Out with Eric Blair show, and tonight we're here at the premiere for the movie Lemmy, a documentary about one of the hardest working men in rock and roll, Lemmy Kilmeister of Motorhead. First time you met Lemmy, and what, what kind of impact he had on your life? Uh, well, he had the impact on my life before, way before I met him. Um, the ace, I was a punk, punker kid from Seattle, and, and uh, I think like Henry said in the movie, it's like, it was about punk rock. I mean, it was ACDC kind of broke through, like the punk rock thing, but there was Black Flag and, you know, uh, Exploited, and, and, uh, and, and then also Ace, Ace of Spades came out in 79 or 80, whenever that was, and that, that kind of transcended everything. Um, but then I met him seven years later when Guns went to London for our first time to play the marquee and, and Lemmy, I don't know, somehow heard of our band and, and, and liked us and invited us down to uh, their studio where they, were, where they were making a record. And uh, yeah, I was completely like tongue-tied and freaked out, but um, there, there, was, there was beer and there was Jack, Jack and Coke. and, and uh, so and he, and he just he was just a real gentleman you know I think he knew we were freaked out little kids like well we're in you know in London at Motorhead studio and here's Lemmy being really fucking nice to us and yeah that's it. What did you think of Lemmy's bass tone and did you ever try to emulate that? Um, never emulated his tone because that you, you leave that alone you definitely uh, but there was guys like Lemmy and uh, Paul Simonon from The Clash, and Captain Sensible, who's in the movie, who made, like, bass players at that their, 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 that era were at the forefront. They were, like, the, the thing, it was the cool thing to do. No, you know, like, guitar players were kind of geeky, you know, and uh, um, so they're, like, kind of geeky, yeah. It, to be a bass player was, like, the badass thing to do, and that's, yeah. so when I moved to L.A. in 84, I was like, I could play guitar, I could play drums, but I, I decided okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play bass and make my mark. I noticed that you you got excited in the movie every time they showed one of the guys from the Damned. Yeah. yeah. So you are you you're a big Damned fan? Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm wearing a Damned shirt tonight, yeah, just by chance. I didn't know those guys were in the movie, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a big Damned. Played with Loaded recently. So so how many? What, what's your favorite Damned song? Anything off the first record. Smash it up off the off machine gun etiquette. Uh, there's a million great damn songs. What, how are you enjoying doing the reality show? What's it called? The Rock, uh, Married Rock, to Rock on E. Married to Rock. Just wrapped. Do you like it? I do hate it. I hate it, but I do it because my wife wants me to be on the show, and I love my wife. Ah. Uh, I, I, we've had some fun moments joking around. We like the, our favorite scene. I think was riding our, our Harleys in Seattle. That was pretty dope. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I would think it would be a little daunting since you, you be, being a part of Guns N' Roses, one of the biggest rock bands, yeah. uh, would like to have your privacy. Very, I have to be very careful and uh, in, in this, you know, I'm... He's picky what he does. I'm, I'm right. extremely picky and uh, yeah. uh, it's it's really more what I won't do, what they want me to right. do and I won't do. I'm, no, I'm not going to do that. We've all had to turn down stories in it. Billy Duffy has, you know, everybody has. It's just like part of the process. And, uh, but anyhow. But anyways. Let me. Let me. Let me. Uh, <laughs> the Blaring Out Show.